morning everyone it is snap on Tuesday uh, <coughs> first kind of official day back I was in yesterday um, but I was basically dealing with uh, like three days of emails and messages and questions and queries and yada 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 uh, got a chance to watch the cars Lotus on the way down there performed fantastic um, it, it didn't mean to, but it got a lot of attention on the road. People driving towards it in a worrying fashion because they're too busy staring at it. Um, but yeah, every time you drive that car, you feel like a celebrity. It's quite cool. Um, so it's currently one degrees. It's really chilly. Uh, time is 7.45. We're just on our way in. Hopefully uh, we've got some cool stuff today on the tool van to discuss and maybe some purchases as well as paying the normal bills. So the weekend um, was lovely, really, really nice. Uh, Claire and Dom's wedding, or Dom and Claire's wedding, whichever way you want to go about it. Claire looked fantastic, Dom looked really smart. Uh, all the best men, the ushers, it was just magical. It was a really, really cool day. We um, had the wedding at Clearwell Castle in the Forest of Dean, very pretty. Um, it was just a fantastic day, really, really nice. Uh, we did some drone flying <laughs> of the of the event, um, and the, the, we went up three times and we flew around without a hitch. And then I had a couple of the boys watching me fly around, getting some nice pictures on the old video. Uh, and they were quite impressed with how fast it was. And then Alex did the famous last words. Can you hold my beer? Yeah, watch this. So I put it in sport mode, which basically turns all of the safety features off of the, you know, I'm going to crash into something, so I'm going to stop myself automatically. Uh, we had a little bit of a incident, shall we say. We were stood on top of one hill. The village is below us and stretches out. And I was flying sort of down one side of the village, videoing everything, so it was really pretty. Um, and we had a bit of a glitch. It was in sport mode and I presumed I was high enough to avoid everything in the town. What I did was I flew down the high street, kind of banked left away from a hill and a tree of, a copse of trees to the right hand side. Um, but what happened was the controller glitched so the screen froze. Now I was still gently sticking left thinking I was turning away from the town. In actual fact I'd done a loop. It turned sharper than I thought. Uh, we lost the Wi-Fi signal for the screen and then all of a sudden heard trees breaking and cracking <laughs> and I crashed my drone. Oh. Uh, so this was like 9.15, we've got to check out the hotel where we are at 10 o'clock. So I walked down the high street looking on my, on my DJI map where the drone is kind of positioned roughly to go and retrieve it. Uh, I spent 45 minutes walking around a wood, looking for the drone, uh, and eventually went to one edge of the forest, got line of sight with where my little blue icon was and, and, and the drone's location, and then walked in a, in a, as the crow flies across the forest to find it. I eventually got to the spot where it said my drone was positioned and down on the floor was one of the propellers. Uh, so I'm looking around the area for another 10-15 minutes trying to find this thing on the floor Like if it hit a tree knock the propeller off and then kind of went down I've got like a probably a 10 meter area where I'm gonna be looking Couldn't find it Getting panicky because we've got to check out the hotel and my room is still full of all my stuff uh, Then noticed on the screen the elevation 11 meters up in the air which is probably about as big as that tree there. Uh, so yes, I then had to be monkey boy and scale up 11 meters of tree. Bearing in mind my unit is six meters tall. That tells you how high this thing was, right? Uh, so I scaled this 11 meter elevation, retrieved the drone, didn't fall out the tree, cut myself to hell on bushes and barbed wire and wall and everything else. I did a sterling job of acting like Spider-Man ran down the high street sweating like a pig got into my hotel room 
packed up all my stuff, threw it in the Lotus, and then we went up to the castle. Changed the blades on the drone, and we were flying again in the afternoon. So, <laughs> all in all, it was actually like a really fantastic time. Um, huge thanks to Claire and family and Dom and everyone else. They, it was just a really nice, really nice uh, evening do. Uh, we had such fun. Um, everyone looked fantastic. Um, ushers, you know, all the staff. It was just brilliant. Really, really cool fun. Um, but today, uh, I've got my first one in already. They kind of dropped it off last night after I washed the cars. We've got a uh, Mark II TT, the newer version. That's having a CarPlay fascia kit, all the other bits and bobs. We have both leads, both options. I've got the canvas lead turn on and I've got the analog turn on. So we've got all bases covered. We shouldn't have an issue. Uh, and then this afternoon, I've got a T6 with a sound problem, a power issue. Um, we've got to check that out. He said sometimes the radio's on, sometimes it doesn't start up. If it's a canvas box, it's probably the box failing. If not, it could be a loose connection, but we'll check it out. Um, so pleased to be back everyone. I, I've missed you. Hope you've missed me. We've gone up on the subscribers and down on the money. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't understand it. It's just, oh hello. No. It's just, it's just the, what is going on? What's happening? It's just the weirdest thing ever. Um, but yeah, the money is halved, uh, but everything is up. Views are up, subscribers are up. We're nearly at the 2000, uh, but YouTube have basically cut my money. I'm not sure what I've done wrong. Maybe I've insulted somebody, I don't know. You shouldn't have been talking shit. Could be a possibility. But breakfast, we need a bacon, we need a coffee. Uh, we haven't got the truck fixed yet. That's due to happen. I'm still waiting on that. Um, but it's just, you know, we'll, we'll see what gives. We'll see what happens. But nevertheless, in for a snap on Tuesday. I'm going to get some food. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Morning everyone. Let's just put the open sign up. Right, so yeah, we had a wash on the boys, so they're clean again. They were absolutely minging, both of them. Um, the Lotus is now clean, so is the Chaser. Uh, did some stuff with a cube. Just turn screen. this down. We buy any car, we'll handle all Obviously I sold off the Kenwood because uh, Justin wanted it for the T6 or T5, sorry. Um, and we've gone to a Sony in here now. So this one now has a Sony. Um, it's being taken by a potential new owner this this coming weeks. He's going to use it for a day while I do his car and see how he gets on with it. If he likes it, he will be buying it. Um, so ready, you know, for his car playing his Android Auto. We've got the stereo done. We put the subs back in it. Uh, he wants it as is. He wants all the toys with it. And don't blame him. You don't want to buy a car that's kind of partially done. This one's ready to go. So. Hopefully you'll look after it and have fun with it. Um, and also we have our TT in, which is our first one today, Mark II TT. This one is having a Pioneer fascia kit, all of the fun stuff, Bose retention lead. So I'm gonna get on this one first. Um, and then, yeah, start today. We have got a snap on visit today as well. So that should be cool. Um, and I need to do something with my, <laughs> with my toolbox. Uh, and I need a new tote as well. My snap-on one has failed, so we need to get one of those. Um, but other than that, boys, I'm going to get cracking. I'll come back to you in a bit. See you soon.
Right then everyone, there we go. This one is done. We've got a fascia on there. Steering controls obviously all work. I just need to hoover up some of the plastic that I cut away just to make it fit nicer. Get some picks off this and then get it out for the, uh, the customer to pick up later on. One down, one to go. See you in a moment. We have a Jody. Let's go see what's a care in. Oh, super chilly out here. Morning, sir. How you doing, all right? Yeah, Lucky. good. You nearly had a free ratchet. Really? Yeah, it was in there. What are you on about? <laughs> I just um, opened the door, like, uh, turned that around, and it fell out. We need a new tote. Yeah, it's fine, mate. So, Jody's letting me have a bucket. Mint. Thanks, mate. How's you? Yeah, good, you. You're right? Yeah, 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 I'm good. Yeah. We are living the dream. Yeah. Well, Someone's dream. <laughs> no, not mine, but someone's. Let's see if that'll stay there. Let's put some on top of it. Hold it down. Hold it down. Here we go. Right. Same flyer. Same flyer. Uh, what we got? Anything new? I used that hub scrubber for the first time the other day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was fine. Other than yeah. the ball on my half-inch gun yeah. is a little bit weak. And I kind of got the impression that scrubbing, yeah. if you didn't have your ball attached tightly, stop fucking laughing, <laughs> um, it would fly off, detonate across the workshop. Okay. And the little one, yeah. the thread, yeah. did. Did it? Yeah, because the thread, yeah. you've got to do it one way, but your yeah, gun yeah. does both. If you do it the other, so if you do it the other way, it, goes, it, it does. literally went yeah. stop. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, <laughs> yeah, we're under attack. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You've got to yeah watch I guess out that would be the case, wouldn't it? Because obviously the thread, yeah, yeah you have to you make sure it's going it the same way as the thread. Just so you tell people yeah. if they buy it, it can only go one, one way, way, the little one. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, yeah you, that, yeah. It, it eats stuff <laughs> as it disappears <laughs> across the workshop. Uh, right, same flyer. <laughs> same flyer. Um, not a huge amount of deliveries. Yeah. Um, we've still got some stuff delayed and, yeah. You know, um, always. That's not here yet. That's I've got. That's I sold one of those. That's cool. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> um, gun obviously is the the bigger one. Yeah. Somebody's selling that gazebo. You know the the prize that oh, really? was yeah on my for sale right. site. Yeah, the gazebo's just gone up. Say what a thousand pounds? Four hundred and fifty quid. Which actually, for a gazebo, not, that's not to bad. Be fair, and it's branded. That gazebo is a really good one. Is it? It's an easy app. It's American, so it's yes. Yeah, they, um, they're really good. To be fair, the guy that won it, he said like it's like yeah, it's proper. Good. Yeah. I did. Uh, yeah, I wish I kind of won it, but yeah. They make. They have open. They'll come out again at some point. Um, yeah, it's nice to win stuff, but it's always a nightmare to see the people that win it stick it straight on. Yes. eBay, you know. Yeah, it's like it's, other people that go to celebrities and get signatures and then just bang them yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, you're it's like, disappointing like sometimes like when you do like it should be super fans. When only. you give away give away stuff and then they do sell it. Yeah. Like obviously they can do whatever they want with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just it's just annoying. It, it's just like you'd rather want it to go with someone who's gonna use it. Yeah. And, and enjoy it. Like yeah. the guy who won it, he is he used it with his kid for uh, his motocross. Good. So it's perfect, you know, yeah, good for him. Perfect. Good for him. Uh, right, so what we've got then? We've got torch, big big bundle of torches. Loads of torches. Some trim tools. Different ones. You've, got the, you've obviously got the autofocus one, then you've got that yeah. big one. That's sold really well. Good. Um, and then the little one. I'm kind of, I like my thin ones. I like my, yes. you know, my yeah, yeah. pokey ones. Yes. They're all right. Yeah. They're, they're cool. Uh, socket wise. Oh, pliers. Did the things come in? Still waiting for them, right. I believe. Okay. Yeah, still went for the organisers and okay. one of your twist sockets okay. and the thousand volt bracket. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's that then. Pay you some money. No so, give me one second. Let me just turn down this radio so we don't pick it up on the old vlog. Just having a chat with Jody. I know the uh, the guy who messaged me about secondhand toolboxes got in touch with him. Hopefully, hopefully he gave you some helpful advice. Um, well, we'll just move R2-D2 out of the way. 
Um, right, so yeah, this was my old box, uh, my old tote, shall we say. Uh, and it's, it's merrily, slowly falling apart, bless it. It's been really good. Um, the, the, it's had lots of use, as you can see. But yes, the bottoms are coming out of it. The ends starting to split. Um, it's just seen better days, all right? It's seen better days. So this is gonna get retired to the garbage. And we've got a snap-on bag, a tote bag. It's like a bucket bag, which is really cool. So it has a handle. It has a, a top that you can close in so the water doesn't get in your tools. Um, the nice thing about this is the way that this works is you get some space down the side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get nine things down the side and then everything else ends up in the middle. The problem is with that, hence this, is you'll always find something like a power probe sitting like that. And then you tend to put your hand in and you inject yourself <laughs> full of botulism. Um, so I've got obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You get the message. There's enough things around this that I can put all my tools around the box bag whichever way you want to call it and not stab myself when i go and retrieve something so this is really cool i was looking at tool buckets and this is kind of next level because obviously it's snap on so we're going to give this a go see what it's like um jody did by accident leave a ratchet in here which is a shame because we almost got some free tools <laughs> um but never mind it's fine we're going to get my stuff in there do a little sort out get this off the floor this one's going to get retired Yeet. Uh, I'm back on with this one. Nothing on the flyer this week. Obviously, we had a repeat week of last week. Um, so nothing that I really needed. Uh, I've now got spare time. We may look at some cleaning. We may look at some dismantling. I don't know. We'll, we'll find something to do. I do need to build a box, actually, for a sub, which I've got upstairs. Um, obviously, wifey now needs stereo in her cube. So that could be something we do this afternoon. Speak to you in a bit. Right, so we got Mike. He's got his van in with me today. This is my friendly MOT tester. Um, he's been having some issues with his Pioneer, so we're just doing a little update for him, going from 18.3 to 18.23 uh, 18 to 18.24. That should have the smartphone connectivity update in it. Sometimes you get issues with these leads. Sometimes they get a bit bent and they get a bit funny. So I tend to go, when I'm doing updates to save crash in the unit, I tend to go straight for the back of it with a USB stick. Uh, now, dependent on when you do your updates, you'll get different versions. There's two versions on the SPDA230 update. Um, one is for the, the uh, there's a B version and a K version. And the B version is for the 18.24 or 18.23. And if you're on the 8.23 or 8.24, then you want the K version. Just a little bit of information for you. But we're gonna get this done. Then I've gotta go and pick up the cube. The cube has passed its MOT. Um, and then, I don't know, what should we do this afternoon? It's lunchtime, nearly lunchtime. I'm starving, really, really hungry. Um, so we'll get this finished. I still haven't sorted out my tote bag. We'll probably look at that this afternoon. I'll see you in a bit, bye. Right, everyone, we've got the day done. Um, changed some faulty Pioneer unit today for a T6. That's all changed. The tote bag is looking magnificent. Look at all this stuff. Um, so. I've literally only worked around the outsides, so I can see, and I've still got space for drill and stuff. Um, so I can see every single one of my little quick tools, um, which is what we were talking about when somebody asked about what tools you should have as kind of like a startup kit. You really only need a few things, which is a selection of uh, <coughs> screwdrivers, um, Torx, Allens, some decent cutters, some ratcheting crimps. Don't don't use the uh, the Mickey Mouse ones that you can just squeeze the non-insulated ones. Get some proper ratcheted crimps. They work better. Screwdrivers, test light, maybe a multimeter. Kind of a useful tool. The right angle screwdriver saved my ass many a time. A decent set of trim tools. That's kind of like a must. Some picks, long and short. Phillips flatheads. 
some small stuff, you know, like the little ratchet and screwdrivers, some stubbies, Phillips and a flathead. Tiki's, always. Uh, Torx bits, always, and some spanners. That's kind of like your startup kit. Multimeter, you don't need anything else. Then you move on to certain things like selection of stereo keys, you know, adjustable bits, of screwdrivers, cone cutters, hole cutters, um, aerial adapters, you know, tape, amalgamating tape, PVC tape, tank tape, sticky tape. Um, that's pretty much all you need to get started. Um, if you want to, socket set. If you want to, spanner set. You don't need a lot of stuff. I used to work out of a van and I carried a Halfords toolkit, one of the open 120, 100, uh, sorry, 170 piece toolkits, and I had my tote. That's all I used to use. Um, and you can fit quite a lot with that. All of this is just extras. You don't need all of this. Um, but we're done for today. I didn't manage to make the box. I've been doing stuff with cars and customers and people and quotes and all that other fun stuff. But we are done for a snap on Tuesday. The day is finished. It's freezing outside, so I've got the car warming up. Um, we need to shut down upstairs. But the tote is looking sick. I'll finish that off tomorrow. We've had a big influx of deliveries of Kenwood, uh, Kenwood, of Pioneer Hedge units. The 230 is back in flow. So we're ordering those like they're going out of fashion. Because I want to keep those on, uh, on tap. Um, video for the weekend um, I, I didn't film anything that if I'm honest I'm going to put online um, it's not I may I may put some stills up when we get the professional photos back um, but Dom's wedding is kind of not really a, a public thing for a you know it was for him and Claire for the day and friends and family we're going to leave it there so I'm not going to post anything of that because I don't think that's right uh, but I'm going to get shut up head home cut this video up for you lot I'll see you bright and early in the morning for some more tomfoolery lots of stuff going on see you then take care bye you told me you had subscribed to ASC audio and now you've missed an episode no!